Hi, it's Sean Callahan from Anecdote, uh, another storytelling tip for leaders. This is all about how do you remember the stories you need to tell, right? This is a simple tip that I use, it works very well. And that is, whenever you hear a story that you think, yeah, I'd love to be able to tell that story, what you need to do as soon as you hear it, is tell it to someone else. So you hear the story, tell it to someone else, and then this is the key thing. You ask them to tell you what the story meant to them. So you might tell a story, they might sort of say, ah, oh, you know what that means to me, that, you know, it's really important to push through those and be persistent even when things at times are tough and you go, ah, oh, great. So that then becomes the tag, if you like, for that story. I'll give you a little example. I did some work for the Victorian Bushfire Reconstruction Authority. This is the group that helped Victoria recover from the terrible fires that we had a number of years ago. The, the sort of the chairperson for the, for the group was a lady called Christine Nixon. Uh, she used to be the uh, police commissioner. She took on this role to help uh, Victoria recover from these fires. Now, we were running a big workshop. I asked her to you know, see if she could tell a story at the beginning of the workshop, set it off in the right sort of way that we want to keep, get things kicked off. And I said, do you have a story? And she said, you know what? I can think of a story. Um, about two weeks after the fires, uh, one, of, one of the companies that sort of um, provide spectacles and, and, and uh, reading glasses, a company called OPSM, put uh, caravans out into the fire affected areas uh, so that if anyone had any problems with their eyes, maybe they had grit in their eyes and broken spectacles, they would help us out. Anyway, on this one particular day, um, a couple, an elderly couple, came up to one of the caravans. The, the woman was complaining of um, sort of grit in her eyes. And so they cleaned out her eyes and uh, that was all fine. Then they turned to the husband and sort of said, um, you know, um, can we help you out? And they said, oh, look, you know, uh, my husband's, uh, he's actually, um, you know, legally blind through diabetes, actually, and, um, and they asked him, he said, you know, when was the last time you um, had your eyes checked? And he said, well, actually, it's about seven years ago. Seven years! And they said, no, 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 that's way too long. You have to get your eyes checked much more regularly than that. And, you know, lots of technology has changed in, in the meantime. So anyway, they uh, booked him into the ophthalmologist. He went to the ophthalmologist. It turns out that he has a condition that they can actually treat now with the new techniques and methods and technologies. So he goes in and has the operation a few months after that. He regains his eyesight. Anyway, as soon as I hear this, this story, I think, oh my God, that's a fantastic story. I tell it to a lady who worked with Christine called Deborah, and I said, Deborah, what, what do you take away from that story? And she said to me, you know what? Even in the shittiest situation, good things can happen. I went, okay, yeah, that, that's, a good, I can, that's a good sort of uh, message. Anyway, I rang up my uh, business partner, Mark, and I said, Mark, I told him the story. And he sort of said, I said, what does that mean to you? And he said, oh, for me, you know, small things can make a big difference. Right? So I took note of that. And essentially what you're doing by retelling the stories, you're sort of strengthening those synapses, those connections to help you remember the story. And by asking people to give you uh, what it means, it's like your little tag that helps you remember it. So imagine you're in a meeting, um, someone says, you know what, uh, sometimes you know, small things can make a big difference. That story will immediately come to mind and you'll be able to tell it right off the top of your head, right there and then, to give a, a clear illustration of actually how that happens, how it works. Anyway, that's a little tip for you today. Go out, use it, uh, and you know, hope you have a, a great storytelling week. Bye for now.